Welcome to Beardy, Bruce Lee Central. You know what that was? <coughs> what? The triads got him. Do you think so? You really do? You know those people? They're Sicilian, dog. Listen, you know what? I'm going to kill you and your son. Really? And you really they think did it. that's what it is? Because I had heard that he died, that Bruce Lee died from some sort of an allergic reaction to a drug or... People don't understand. We're a little too young for it, but people don't understand what an impact Bruce Lee had when he was doing the Green Hornet. When people saw him do martial arts moves the way he did on screen, like people wanted to, I mean, you have to think about how many people would watch a TV show back then. Like if you had a TV show, there's only like three different things to watch, right? Like if you had a TV show, you had the entire country watching one of three things. And if you had a big show like the Green Hornet was. The Green Hornet ended on Sunday nights. So it was, it was like stealing. When I was having dinner with, uh, with Chuck, I did ask him, I said, if you and Bruce were in a real fight to the death, who would win? And he right. said, without thinking, he said, Bruce, of course. Right. Nobody could beat him. Okay, so the voice you just heard was the voice of John Ben, the boss from Way of the Dragon. Now, this was a secret recording. He wasn't aware that he was being recorded. So he sat down with Chuck Norris and he asked Chuck Norris, who would win in a real fight between you and Bruce Lee? And Chuck said that Bruce Lee would win that fight. Now, if you ask Chuck Norris today, he would never, ever admit <laughs> that Bruce Lee would beat him in a fight. Chuck has done hundreds of interviews and he never ever ever admits that Bruce Lee would beat him in a real fight. Why? Well, I just don't know. I just don't know. So John, Ben and I talked together actually years ago. We had a phone call and I just wanted to get his impressions of Bruce Lee. And he told me that he used to vacation with Bruce Lee and all of the time that they would hang out together. Bruce Lee would talk about martial arts and, and it was only martial arts. He was only thinking about training, exercise and martial arts. And he also said that Bruce Lee was the fastest and strongest guy he had ever seen. Now, John Ben is six foot four. He's a huge guy, a big, big guy. And Bruce Lee would push him, push him around like he was nothing. And you even saw that in the movie Way of the Dragon. Okay, so good old Chuck Norris. We all know him. We all love him. But <laughs> I have a feeling you're not going to agree with him on this one, okay? So good old Chuck has a bizarre theory concerning Bruce Lee's death. So let's take a listen to what Chuck Norris has to say about Bruce Lee and Bruce Lee's death. I look down and I see Bruce Lee sitting down. I said, oh wow, you know? And, uh, cause I'd never met him. I'd never met him, I'd seen him, you know, doing his stuff. And uh, anyway, we kind of nodded at each other. And then I, I, I fought and won the championship. And uh, Bruce Lee goes like this here. So I go down there and get off the, you know, and we start talking. And he says, uh, don't you live in LA? I says, yes. He says, I do too. So why don't we start training together? I said, okay. So Bruce and I worked out for two years together. He, uh, he taught me a lot of his, uh, his Chinese uh, uh, techniques. And I showed him a lot of our, our techniques of kicks and all the stuff here. He believed in going to kick him below the waist. And I said, well, that's good, Bruce. He said, you should be able to kick anywhere. You should be able to put that foot anywhere. And so, you know, so we trained together for two years. And, and he got, as you can tell, he got really good at it. <laughs> and, uh, and then anyway, after, uh, and then finally he gives me a call. And he says, I'm leaving for Hong Kong to do a movie. And, uh, and I said, oh, that's great. Uh, well, good luck. So I don't hear from Bruce for two years. <coughs> and then out of the blue, he gives me a call. He says, I've done two movies in Hong Kong and they're really successful. He says, I want to do a movie now with a fight scene that's never been done before. And I want you to be my opponent. <laughs> I go, and I've never done anything like that. <laughs> I said, uh, oh, no. You know why? Because I'm the world champion. Is that yeah. it? Yeah. And I said, so uh, I said, well, who wins, Bruce? He said, <laughs> kidding. He said, I'm gonna win. I'm the champ. I'm the winner. I'm the star. I said, oh, okay. 
So anyway, uh, went away Bruce and I, you know, did this big fight scene in, in Rome, and and uh, and uh, it was really, uh, you know, because Bruce and I worked out for two years together, so we knew each other very, very well. I knew everything that he wants to do, and he knows everything that I like to do. And so when we did the fight scene, we pretty much just put it together right there. And uh, anyway, so anyway, we did the fight scene, and and uh, and uh, after it's over, uh, you know, uh, I kept, went back home. And then in 1972, uh, I get a call. Uh, Bruce is coming to L.A. to see his doctor, and he says, and uh, so he says, let's have lunch. So uh, we do. We have lunch. And uh, he said, he says, I'm going to see the doctor, and and because I've, I've got some problems, I'm, I'm getting dizzy and, and passing out, so I want to find out what it is. So anyway, so he goes to the doctor, and does the whole thing. Anyway, we get, after he does, we get back together, and I said, how'd it go? And he says, well, the doctor says, you know, he's 32, same age, he's the same age as me. We we're both 32, and he says, yeah, the doctor says. I'm like an 18 year old kid, you know. I said, oh, that's great. I, and if I said, did he tell you why you're falling and doing all the falling and all that stuff? He says, he doesn't know. He says, you know, it could just be anything. So anyway, he leaves for Hong Kong. And a few uh, months later, he passes away. And, uh, and I, I was shocked. Anyway, so anyway, when he went to, he went, they went to Seattle, you know, just laying there, and we all went up, me and a lot of friends that, uh, uh, Bruce's, went up there for the graduation, for the, when he died. And Linda, his wife, decided to move back to uh, California, and he uh, found a home about, Oh, uh, maybe a half a block from my house, so I could spend time with Brandon, her, uh, the boy, and I did. I spent a lot of time with him, you know, to, to telling him about his dad and and, you know, and all this stuff here. And then, of course, he became a champion. I mean, a uh, star himself. And then, fortunately, he wound up passing away. But the thing is that Bruce was an incredible guy, and uh, and this is. You know, and this time I spent with him, going through this whole thing here, was something that I will never forget about. And so this is about, about Bruce Lee.